All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Jim Miss, rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutations to the whole flock out there pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom unto the whole flock, the believers, the listeners, whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures. Through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. And what I want to get into this morning, just a quick news, all right, and prophecy update, you know, dealing with a few things that's going on. And um what we're seeing, you know, is these ideologies, you know, created by the media, all right, which which they get their marching order and their script, all right, from the elites, you know. But these two ideologies, these different ideologies, because it's more than two, you know, but the main two being the um the outright you know, and the leftists, you know, Antifa, you know, Proud Boys, you know, pretty much that left-right paradigm, you know, the Esau Edom, you know, has created, you know, to cause division, you know, amongst the masses, you know, and now we're seeing it, you know, turn to violence, you know, and it's going to get more and more violent and chaotic, you know, as this thing goes on, all right? So when you read Revelation 18, all right, and uh, 21, and it says, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea. Yeah, and the sea is the people. You see? Because at the end of the day, what has happened, the Lord has set up his prophets, you know, in the midst of Babylon and throughout the earth, you know. But the bulk of the prophets are in Babylon. And this word, the angel, this word going out is causing, all right, chaos. You know, because before the everlasting kingdom of Israel will be established, it will be a very chaotic, you know, time. And all the scriptures speak about that. You know, my fellas, get this real quick. And Daniel. All right. Daniel 12 and 1. All right. This is the book of Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And Michael, you know, is one of the top archangels. You see, because we're going to need intervention from on high. All right. Well, the ultimate deliverance is going to come through Yahweh Shai, which Michael is under Yahweh Shai. All right. He's the officer of Yahweh Shai in the military of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. And it says, The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the book all right and that's the elect you know that's going to be delivered from this chaos you know but it will start with the lord raising up prophets to speak these things into existence just as he did in ancient egypt you know let's get that you know just as he did in ancient egypt what did he say to pharaoh all right i mean what did he say to moses how he's going to set Moses up, you know, over Pharaoh. This is Exodus 7 and 1. It says, And the Lord, how about Shema Shah, said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a guide to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee, and Aaron thy brother shall speak unto Pharaoh, that he, that he send the children of Israel out of his land. And see, this is the stead we come in, you know, speaking things into existence. You know, that's the attribute of being like God, <laughs> being, you know, being a God. So you can speak things into existence, man. So as the Most High has cast this <laughs> great millstone into the midst of the people, now we're starting to see chaos. This is Moses. When Moses was raised up, all right, to be a, <laughs> all right, a God <laughs> to Pharaoh, and Aaron the prophet, what happened? Chaos erupted in ancient Egypt. And it's going to be the same thing, all right, within this Egypt. Now, let's go back to Re Revelation 18 and 21. It says, And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. So it's going to get very violent, all right, in the earth, man. You know, especially here in America, all right, which is the most, has the most armed, all right, citizens on earth, 
Now you go into the word violence in the Greek. 3731. Hard of my mouth. Hard of my mouth. Alright. And it says to rush. Alright. Um that which is impelled or hurried away by impulse. We're gonna see a lot of very impulsive, you know, behavior, man. A lot of very impulsive behavior in the earth, man, is gonna lead to violence. Now, I got a few articles I wanna touch on. Now, this is dealing with this is from the insider. All right. It says three Washington schools went into lockdown after far right anti mass protesters. All right. Tried to access property. It says three schools in Washington state went on lockdown on Friday after a crowd. So like, damn, damn. All right. After a crowd of far right protesters. All right. Members of the Patriot Prayer, a far right group. Tied to the Proud Boys, assembled outside of the Skyview High School on Friday, all right, in Vancouver to protest against face mask requirements. Many wore signature Proud Boy Proud Boys colors, yellow and black. And uh, that's something to note, you know. <laughs> so just in case you're out and about, you see some either my ranting and raving and yellow and black. All right, you can pretty much know, you know, that they might be with the proud boys you know so there's something to note them colors you know associated you know with the proud boys you know to be on the look the scripture tells to be circumspect in these times you know not to be ignorant of a small or great thing now it says um according to organ public broadcasting some students and teachers in favor of masks showed up to the counter protest all right so you had what? A counter protest. See, it's a clashing of ideas. Anti this, pro that, anti this and pro that. You know? And it says Washington State requires face masks for all staff and students according to the Department of Health. Some of the Patriot um prayer protesters protesters at Skyview attempted to escort a student who who was seeking a medical exemption from wearing a mask into the building, which prompt, prompted intervention intervention. It's like an intervention from the school security guards, according to OPD. The protesters falsely claimed that the student had been threatened with arrest if they entered the school without a mask. The student's mother, Megan Gabriel, told OPB that the student could not wear masks because they were diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and anxiety, and wearing a mask could trigger a panic attack. Gabriel added that their requested medical Exemption was denied, which is going to be <laughs> the case for a lot of them, man. You see, he saw Edom is dead set, <laughs> all right, on getting his agenda across, man. You know, but as you can see, all right, the yelling black, you know, you got the, 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 the P on the hat. I think there's a pirate's hat, you know, it says F Antifa, you know, so just be mindful when you see these things. And then there's a lot of agents in planet. Within both of these groups, man, what they call agent provocateurs that do particular things that they, they start a trickle effect, you know, because one person can do something and it can uh, invigorate the rest of the people tied to their group to act in the same behavior. All right, what you call agent provocateurs, man, you know, so that's 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 going on. We know that. So let's go from there. So they, you know, these schools, you know, I don't know. How you brothers and sisters school, you know, dealing with the children, but hey, <laughs> hey, it's about time to make that move, man. Get them out of there, man. You know, cause it's crazy. Now, this is um another class. All right, it says this is from Breaking News. Is Antifa clashes with anti-Vanessa mandate protesters one shot you see so in this class supposedly you know someone was shot and they got the look I think they got a little footage of it you see Antifa and um anti-mask and Antifa is a, is a, is a group name for the um the alt right, I mean the alt left, you know, they will be the liberals, all right. Antifa, Black Lives Matter, all this linked up 
in one group. See, Esau is trying to link everybody together in these different categories to cause division. You know, because if he link you in a category, then he gives you a doctrine, all right, an ideology to believe in through his media, and then it's the opposite, you know, of the other ideology that he created. It's gonna cause a clash, you know, all right, and things lead to violence. You see, so let's uh, play this little clip. Shot in the leg by something. I think. Ah, fuck, hold me. And then, all uh, right, supposedly one of the proud boys got shot in the leg, supposedly. But now you see the comments on Twitter, all right? It says, someone make sure the comrade who shot Tiny is okay and buy them dinner. You see? Provoking more violence, man. You see? It says, Tiny was shot in the leg. They found 9mm casing, courtesy of Free Press Live Screen. <laughs> it says, anyone got a scream of Olympia? Hearing a proud boy may have just been shot in self-defense. Uh, this the one that says, Tiny caught a bullet. <laughs> it only hit his leg. Should have been a better shooter. Got him. <laughs> you know, so they're provoking, provoking, you know, more violence, man, between these two ideologies, man. And that's why we understand to stay the hell out of the way. We have nothing to do, all right, with these confrontations, man. All right. They let them <laughs> counsel each other out. All right, this has nothing to do with us, man. You know, um, <laughs> you simple jakes. All right, join yourself to the Black Lives Matter. All right, you you linked yourself into that madness, man. You see, you linked yourself to that madness, man. But what did the scriptures tell us? Now, I got one more little video to play. Lord will. All right. Mm -hmm. You jakes out here marching, protesting, linking yourself to madness. All right, you're gonna get caught up in the in the line of fire, man. This is um Psalms 46 and 10. It says, "Be still and know that I am the Most High. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth, man." Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is making his move, man. He's going with his move in the earth. You know. He's causing Esau, Edom, you know, to go with his move, and he's countering everything, man, all right, via prophecy, all right? And at the end of the day, how about Shema Oshai is going to be exalted when all the confusion and madness and violence is ended, how about Shema Oshai will be exalted in the earth, man, through his son, Yahweh Oshai. Now, let's get one more video with Jake through. All right, now this is dealing with a high school in Little Rock, you know, this is a Jake high school, but, all right, it says students, it says um, student punch staff members at Little Rock Southwest High School, parents fear for their children's safety, all right, so let's get this video. It said violence and assaults inside Little Rock High School. Now, I believe it got a video. Yeah, I'm telling you this evening. Well, officers I've talked to say this entire situation has. Come on, man. Situation has been an absolute mess since the start of the school year and now some parents are afraid to send their kids to school watch oh, oh, no. police describing it as total chaos inside little rock southwest high school oh, no. viewer video showing staff getting punched by students 
and others being arrested following fights in the hallways now going viral. We talked to a sophomore whose face were blurring out. How often would you say you've been seeing fights? Does it seem like more than usual this year? Every day. <laughs> Every day. Little Rock police say a handful of students have been arrested since August 16th, and 28 have been cited for violence this school year. Those are, are larger numbers than what we would like. The superintendent of Little Rock schools thinks the pandemic is partly to blame, as some are seeing each other for the first time in more than a year. I really think that, you know, when you've had two years, more or less, of, of disruption into the, the learning environments, that's a challenge. <laughs> Reports we obtained show kids ganging up on one another. In one instance, four of them punching, kicking, and stomping another kid with, quote, no remorse. Another report shows kids fighting security guards, one even threatening to cause him harm, catch him in the streets, and do something bad to him. The disrespect these kids have for their teachers is just unbelievable. Our teachers shouldn't have had to put up with that. This parent says it's gotten out of control. The mom who sent us this video wanting to remain anonymous with fear her kid could be next. It's kind of scary. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. It's worrying me. With videos like this continuing to circulate the internet, Poor says it's going to take everyone at school and home to stop the violence captured on camera. It really takes all of us, you know, and, and we all have to communicate. We all have to work together. And, and I'm confident that we can do that. So you see the energy, you know, and they, you know, say because of the pandemic, you know, students haven't been around each other. And at the end of the day, Esau Edom is doing all type of psychological warfare. You know, even with these holes, the mask, you know, they got researchers going to how, you know, that disrupts the development, especially of small children. You know, this man is doing a lot of wickedness, man. It's going to lead to a lot of chaos and violence, man. It's going to get way more violence, man, like you've seen. Uh, if your brothers and sisters was watching the live screen um, uh, um, last night, you know, um, in the park, you know, with uh, the Birmingham brothers, we was out there, and, uh, you know, we seen about four or five ambulances, you know, fire truck, you know, constant sirens, you know, these are signs of the time, man, all right? It's finna get very violent, man, so be in the spirit of staying out the way, man. Let these people have it. All right, we have no argument. We we got the truth. We're going to stick to the narrative of the truth, man. All right, we have nothing to argue with these people about, man. We're going to keep getting built up and the word being edified, you know. Um, keep evolving in faith, you know, rejoicing in faith, you know, and just let it be what it's going to be, man. But, yeah, I just want to put a couple of those things out there. You know, Lord will you, brothers, and you few sisters, you know, were edified, you know, till next time I say, Shalom, Kwam Yashallah, Baba Baba, DTA soon.